Vgate sent me this new toy to play with. It's an updated version of their uh, iCar OBD2 Scantle. Now I previously had the iCar2, uh, which is this one, and I did a review on it a while ago. And um, it was okay for what it is and its price. And basically the point of these things is to provide a decent scan tool at a value price point around uh, 20 or $30. And if you look on eBay and the like, yeah, you know you'll find these dirt cheap $5 Elm 327 clones. Uh, but they're junk, really slow response rates and uh, maybe not fully implemented OBD instruction sets. So they should be avoided. And these are what I would say are the answer to the question. Uh, what's the cheapest you can get away with and still have something that is semi-reliable and usable? So I'm not going to do a totally comprehensive review here. Um, I'm more interested in what the improvements in this uh, pro version are vis-a-vis -vis the old one. Um, the touted features are uh, Bluetooth 4 uh, BLE whereas the uh, old one was uh, Bluetooth 3, I think. And uh, BLE is um, Bluetooth Low Energy, which is a newer, simpler, and um, lower power Bluetooth protocol that's more standard now on devices that you'd want to pair it with, you know, like phones and laptops. Um, now the Bluetooth 4 implementation also means that it should be compatible with Apple devices I don't have any to test, but I know that the um, the previous Bluetooth versions wouldn't work with iPhones uh, and the like. And you had to resort to the Wi-Fi version. Uh, so no more. Um, this should be fine with Apple. Now, one of the uh, different behaviors you get from this is the uh, power saving implementation. Uh, the old version would kill itself after losing power and then wouldn't turn back on unless you push the power button so as to minimize electrical drain. Uh, the new one turns on uh, with ignition, as far as I can tell, and that's it. Uh, there's not even a power button on the front. So I guess the attitude is the drain is low enough that you don't worry about it. Uh, pairing is dead easy. Just turn it on and then find it in the Bluetooth devices, password uh, 1234, and that's it. Uh, security is an issue here, I guess. Uh, I don't think that you can change the code. Uh, which means that anyone in range uh, of a mischievous mind could connect to the tool and uh, potentially mess with you a little. I don't think this is a major risk, uh, but maybe don't leave it plugged in permanently. Okay, so I'm using this with uh, Forscan on Android, uh, which is a Ford and Mazda scan app that gives access to the uh, proprietary Ford modules and uh, PIDs. It seems to work properly, so uh, there don't appear to be any holes in the protocol implementation. I can see all the PIDs from the different modules. And uh, here's the main improvement in terms of performance. Uh, the response rate reported by Forscan is uh, 25 milliseconds. That's the time for each PID to be read, and it obviously affects a real-time monitoring of data. So if you're trying to graph things over time, um, the iCar 2 was uh, 44 milliseconds, so nearly half the effective speed. Uh, so here's an example of the effect of that. Uh, here's Forscan monitoring eight different PIDs simultaneously uh, while the car's being driven. Uh, the old one is on the left and the new on the right. And you can see the update speed is considerably better for the iCar Pro. But it's still not exactly real time, but it's improved. And uh, that applies even when you're, you're monitoring just one or two things. For example, O2 sensors, which fluctuate very quickly. It's not exactly an oscilloscope, but it uh, will generate a reasonably accurate graph, more so than before. So to improve on this, uh, you really have to spend more money, triple or thereabouts. Um, so for casual use and amateurs, um, I continue to recommend this sort of price point and the new iCar Pro is a uh, nice upgrade to the old versions. So I'll do an update dated video uh, also for telemetry on a um, uh, decent length drive for those of you who are geeky enough to be interested. Uh, but that's it for this one. Links are below. Have fun.